Flagstaff, Arizona, in the northern part of the state. You got Sedona in the Grand Canyon nearby. Route 66, right over there. The railroad, as you'll be about to see, right over there. I love the sound of the railroad going by. There were so many great photo ops in this town. The city fathers have put together a little walking tour of downtown. We're going to take it together and look at some of the great old buildings. They're really photo worthy. And if you stay tuned, I got a great photo tip for you. You know those urban shots with the lights that go streaking through downtown? You really pretty much get them on your camera. I could show you how to do it on an iPhone or an Android. So stay tuned for that. But for starters, let's take a photo walk. Not that way though, right? Flagstaff takes its position on the old Route 66 Mother Road very seriously, so we will begin on old Route 66 before moving to town for a one mile walk through historic Flagstaff. If you're into nostalgia, history, and just cool stuff, well, this is the photo walk for you, as we will be exploring the main streets, and more importantly, the side streets in search of photo gems. I'm on Phoenix Avenue in Flagstaff, which is the original Route 66. Model T Fords and other cars of that elk used to come up and down the street until there became so many of them, they had to build a new Route 66 on the other side of the railroad tracks. Photographically, a great street, Phoenix, in between Beaver and San Francisco. All these great old buildings. Let me turn it around and show you. The Motel de Beau, a motor inn. From once upon a time, people used to drive up to places like this. In fact, I just stayed here. It's fantastic. Big sign welcoming people. There it is. And some other cool things. Just explore with your camera eye. Right down the street, there's a giant signed Motel Downtowner, only $5 a night. Not bad, if you can get it. This is the Mother Myth Mural, and if you're wondering why Route 66 is called the Mother Road, well, you can thank John Steinbeck, who called it that in his classic Depression-era book, The Grapes of Wrath. The mural shows people migrating from east to west, and it's directly across the street from the old downtowner, which shut down years ago. So why the big signs? Well, that was to attract the folks driving up the old Route 66 to this little old street on the other side of the railroad tracks. Next up, walk a block over to the historic Flagstaff train depot, which is a fantastic source of information, maps, and inspiration. Directly next door is the old Santa Fe Plaza, which is still home to those daily stops of the LA to Chicago Santa Fe line and a hundred daily trips from freight cars. It also happens to be your best spot in town for getting the action shot of the trains whirling by. But be careful, you get little warning beyond the ringing bells and they don't last long. Now let's cross Route 66 and walk into historic Flagstaff. The old bank building on the corner is one of the oldest buildings in town, dating back to 1886. Now banks have come and gone, and today, this building has a restaurant on the main floor and apartments upstairs. Speaking of old buildings, right down the street on LaRue is the Weatherford Hotel, which is over 135 years old, and it's just swimming with history. Teddy Roosevelt and Zane Gray both stayed here. So how cool is this? I'm on the deck of the Weatherford Hotel. This is the oldest hotel in Flagstaff. It's historic, it's cool, and if you ask nicely, they'll let you up here, lean over the deck, and get an overhead shot of the town. You don't need a drone for it. Let me show you what it looks like. I'm gonna turn the camera around. I really love it. Pretty nice, huh? Look around. This hotel is like stepping back in time. Next door, the Orpheum Theater, circa 1917, is one of the great old vaudeville houses, and it still operates. The side of the building has another one of those terrific Flagstaff murals that will keep you busy looking for quite some time.
Last stop of the historical tour and my favorite shot in Flagstaff at the corner of Aspen and San Francisco. Two great old buildings, the Babbitt Brothers Department Store and the Hotel Monte Vista. Best done at nighttime for the streak shot. Stay tuned. More on that in a second. But first, let me show you where to get the best shot of the nighttime stars in those dark Flagstaff skies. Flagstaff, of course, is a dark city where the planet Pluto was discovered at the Lowell Observatory here in Flagstaff. Buffalo Park is about two miles out of town, and it's a great place for daytime portraits or night shots. Just remember to bring your tripod. Star shots are best done with cameras, but you know, you can pull it off with a smartphone if you use a tripod in night mode. More on night mode in a minute when we head downtown. Take a look at this example of a night shot that was taken on the iPhone. Okay, so to get that classic shot of the streaks going down, you'd have to have a tripod. I think right across the street from the Hotel Monte Vista is a pretty good place. You want to have Babbitt Brothers in the shot as well, and you want to go on night mode. Night mode will let you expand the length of your shutter, which I will show you how to do. I got it at about 20 seconds, which is really cool. They have something similar on Android as well. Tripod right here. Just keep pressing the button over and over and over again until you get the right shot. You, obviously, you want to have cars flying down the street. It's going to really help. On late model iPhones, night mode is done automatically when you're in a dark spot. You can adjust it and tell the phone how long you want the exposure to be. I chose the maximum, and that's how I got this great shot. Ditto for the stars, too. Now, before we go, a few words about visiting Flagstaff. The city is unusual for Arizona in that it doesn't get the oppressive summer heat of a Phoenix or Tucson, and as a mountain town, it's cooler. The general population is around 75,000 and dominated by tourism and the local college, Northern Arizona University. The Grand Canyon is just 80 miles away, and that attracts many tourists who visit both places. Now, most drive to Flagstaff, Phoenix is just two and a half hours away, Tucson four hours, Albuquerque five, LA eight, and Las Vegas just four hours. For more detailed mapping information from today's episode, please check out our website, photowalkstv.com, and the local tourism site, which is discoverflagstaff.com. Finally, let's relive Flagstaff together with a gallery of some of my favorite images from the photo walk. That's our photo walk from Flagstaff, Arizona. Pretty cool streaking trick, right? Any questions about how I did it? I'd love to hear from you. Look for me on Twitter or Instagram where I'm at Jefferson Graham. Please stay tuned for more photo walk episodes and I'll see you on the next photo walk. Promise? Bye-bye.